Hi class, now let us start with a tutorial on our GUI project. Let us start with Hello World, of course. And let us also start with the easiest one, which is using the template provided by a German professor. So launch your Visual Studio. First, file, new, then project. Then, if you already put something or choose something in the options at the top here, you need to clear filter first because it's a little hard to get the correct template from the filtration using language and platform. But anyway, for me, I already have the project template appearing here but for your case if you are doing this project for the first time you will not be able to see this so first clear filter then you only need to type cpp in the name that you want to filter don't filter through language don't filter platform what i mean is don't put c++ just leave it blank all languages and under platform don't put windows put all platform so you can see the entry for the template that we are looking for if you already install this one if you have not installed it you need to watch the video on how to install the template you can also download the template from our Moodle click next then let us name this project as maybe hello GUI only then as usual to put the project somewhere in your desktop click desktop new file hello GUI the folder name, select folder, then create. You get this one. You already have a header file from one over here. You can open it. You already have the template for the Windows form that you want. But let us do some modification so that this reflects a more standard English way. Close it. This is not header the time, but you better change it to header files. And this is not called the time, better change it to source files and this one also not resource and the time but change it to resource files then I would like to make this one also the standard one using the name my form You can close this one because the error will go away to work. You reopen, then you get everything correct. Okay, so now that we have this complete form, actually complete and working form of Windows application, we may want to first try to run this. This is already runnable. How do we run it? We can build and rebuild as uh, we did for console application, but for Windows application or GUI, we can straight away 
run the program by clicking the run button here, the green triangle. There is an error. We should change this one because just now we changed the form one dot h to my form. So let's open that one. We need to include my form. Save it. Close. Try it on again. So this is the form. You see this form is running independently from the Bishop Studio. It is already fully functioning Windows window that you can maximize, restore, minimize, and then restore again. And of course you can close it. And to show that again, Without Visual Studio, you can go to the folder where you can find the executable, which is in here. So I can go to my desktop, Hello GUI, Hello GUI, and go to debug that is hello gui.exe there make sure you make a proper setting to be able to see this .exe make sure that you see this type of application then if you double click the one it's running independently from visual studio you can even close visual studio and you can still run this independently because this is a standalone application. All right. So next, let, let us look at the layout of our dashboard now. This is now, it's not coding anymore. You can change to coding mode later when uh, you do your actual project. But now this is a design mode. You see here my form dot h in bracket design because this is in design mode. When you are in design mode, you will you will see the list of toolbox that is listing the controls or you can also call call it uh, widget. The things that you can drag and drop into the form to make your application running as you wish. Okay, so this window is an object. Object, if you recall from our first chapter, is a data type that has property and method. So if you have this window selected, you can see the border. The border of the window is uh, given um, some kind of boundary. Then if this one is selected, you will see the list of property that belongs to the window. So now let us change the caption of the window, which in this case is form one. The text, it is a text. So you can change it to, for example, hello world. C++. Alright, so press enter. You can see the caption now change. Then let us put the word hello world in this window. Just drag a label out of this list of common control or common widget. Just drag a label. Okay. At this point, you can save and run. 
you can see that now your window is having the new caption and the default text for label that you drag in just now which is label one in this case okay you can close it for now then to change the property of this label you need to select them you need to select it make sure you uh, make sure that you only click once single click not double click because double click will mess up your code you will you will be getting a lot of dummy event handler if you double click do not double click the widgets including this caption do not double click them you will mess up the code later in next tutorial maybe we will show what will happen if you, if you double click so you click the label one then you can see the text here the text property of label one uh, you can change it to something that you want to print this kind of, this time is it is not print f but it is a label so let's say hello world now the label change to hello world all right then not only that you can also change the the other property let's say you want to make the word larger you can go to I think it's font, expand the font. So the size now is 8.25. You can make it bigger, make it 16. Now the hello world is bigger. You want to make it italic. So the italic property of the font, you can change it to true. So the hello world now is italicized. All right, you can exp experiment with this with many other things or many other properties like for example you can change the font actually but before that let us run this one first this is your window all right then let's say you want to have the word in different language you can go to internet key in the word perhaps online where you can get the wording in a different language that you want for example let's say I want instead of saying hello world in English like this I would like to spell the word salam dunia in Jawi so I can Google like this. Uh, I have a little doubt what is the correct spelling of dunia in Jawi, so I Google it. Then we can find this page, ejawi.net. Then I can spell salam dunia there, convert. Then I get this spelling in Jawi. So let me copy it. Ctrl C, then I can go back to the, the label Hello World. Then I can put or paste that word there. Press Enter. I get Salam Dunia. Maybe this time it is not so good if we italicize it. So put false to italic so that's it and maybe with a bigger font and let me use times new roman okay so this looks nicer save it then since you are using non-english character here the coding of your text file code need to be changed to 
Unicode so that this kind of character can be kept. So click yes, save it again and then run again. So you can see now uh, that Arabic character is printed in your window. I hope this is enough uh, just to show you how to explore this. You should be able to explore this on your own.